What's up, Spice fans? Welcome back to Cooking with Gindos. Well, uh, we're definitely well into the fall season here, and it's getting much chillier outside, and I thought I would do uh, bring into focus one of our seasonal squashes, the acorn squash, one of my personal favorites to cook up during this season. Um, I'm going to go a little bit of a different route with it. I'm going to go the savory route uh, today. I know the traditional route is to do kind of a brown sugar maple syrup deal, but uh, we're going to go savory and do a garlic herb crusted parmesan uh, squash. Uh, you start by melting your butter and sauteing your minced garlic and shallot. And uh, then, of course, you're going to add our classic Gindo's original, our Louisiana style sauce, the um, habanero heat with the red bell and our redalea sea salt that we use in this one really brings the flavor together nicely for the squash dish. It blends really well with the Parmesan and the herbs. You're gonna reduce that down almost in the style of buffalo and then let it cool. And while that's cooling, uh, start to slice into your acorn squash. Uh, do make sure when you're slicing the acorn squash that you're using the sharpest knife in your house because um, it will fight you if you don't have a sharp knife, for sure. Uh, once you get it uh, halved, go ahead and clean out the insides there, which actually come out pretty easily. Um, I was kind of surprised how easy those came out just with a spoon. Um, once you get them nice and cleaned out, you can start slicing them into, uh, I go about a quarter inch thick slices. I like to keep them somewhat thin because that way, after we are done baking these up in the oven, they'll uh, reduce and crisp up nicely so you get kind of a, an acorn squash chip when we're done with it. A garlic parmesan acorn squash chip, which is the most delicious of all of the acorn squash chips, if you're going to ask me. And then, uh, once you've got them all together, you're just going to go ahead and... Um, Put them all in a bowl and add your ingredients. You're going to add your, your Gindo's uh, butter mixture and then uh, your Italian herbs and our fresh minced herbs. The minced herbs I used in this recipe were fresh minced rosemary, thyme, and uh, parsley, I believe. Parmesan cheese. You're going to toss it all together. And once you get them all kind of nice and evenly mixed there, kind of space them out nicely on your baking sheet. You'll want to have your oven preheated to 350 degrees. Sometimes the Parmesan will collect at the bottom of your bowl. Like pull some of that out there and dust it along the top because that herb flavored Parmesan cheese is amazing. Then I do add a little drizzle of olive oil and then a pinch of sea salt to taste. Squash can always use a little bit of salt. And if you have any Parmesan cheese left over, dust the top of it. I mean, why not? Right, you may as well. Um, after that's all prepped, uh, it's going to be time to pop these babies in the oven. You're going to bake them at 350 for about 25 minutes until they come out golden brown. Acorn squash, you guys. Enjoy. Enjoy. 